Hello, my name is Simon Benham and I'm the ICT trainer at Somerset College. In this video we're going to learn how to set up a smart board ready for your lessons. And it's quite a simple process. So one of the first things we need to do is to calibrate the board. So when you first walk into your lesson, you turn the projector on, you turn your computer on, one little check you want to do is just to put your finger anywhere on the board and see if the arrowhead is in line with your finger. And it is on this one, but if I were to press and the arrowhead was over here or it was over here, I can tell that my board isn't calibrated. So you'll need to calibrate the board first if you want to use it with the pen and make sure it's all smooth and nice and ready to go for your students. So what we need to do is we need to come down to the bottom corner and click on a little blue icon. So that's just there for me. And then this toolbar loads up. And on this toolbar, we're looking for control panel. We're going to orient the board. Don't click orient, click control panel, because we're going to do it in a way in which the smart board is calibrated for uh, better use. So I'll click control panel. And then from there, I'll click on smart hardware settings. And again. And then from this page, we have a drop down box here. I'll click on that and I'll choose the second option which is orientation alignment settings. And then from this page we have several options. Now we have quick here, standard, wide and fine. What I want to do is fine because that means when I pick up the pen and I start writing it'll look more like my handwriting and less like not my handwriting. So I'm going to choose fine just by pressing the radio button and once I've done that, I come up to Orient and click. It will say, are you sure? And I say yes. And then we get this section here. Now, all you have to do is come up to the top and try and click in the middle of that red cross. So I'm going to do that now. This might be a game for your students to play. And I'm going to do that 20 times because I've chosen the fine alignment to give me more flexibility when I use my smart board. And that's done. And not only is that done for this lesson, it's done for the next three months. So the next person that comes in will come in and find the smart board is working brilliantly. Okay? So all I'll do is press apply and then OK. And that is done now for, as I said, three months. Now one of the other things you want to do is to make sure your smart tools down the side have all the tools in them ready for the lesson. This is key, so make sure you have all the tools you want in the smart board. Smart tools, sorry. So to do that, we need to come down to the very bottom of this toolbar and click on the cog. On doing that, we get this box. And inside this box, we have all of our tools that we can use on our smartboard toolbar. So I'm going to include a few tools, and then we'll see how to use them in the next video. So one of the ones I like is ScreenShade. So if I want to include that on my toolbar, all I do is click on ScreenShade, and then drag that down to anywhere I want on my toolbar. I'm going to put it just below the pen tool. I don't know if you can see that now, but my screen shade is now inside my toolbar. And it works the same for any of these tools. Click, drag into the toolbar and it's done. If you want to get rid of an item from your toolbar, all you do is again click on the cog which brings up this box and highlight the one you want. I'll choose a screen shade, I'll click on it and then I'll just drag that into an area on the desktop and let go. And my screen shade is now gone from my toolbar. Now once you've put the pens and put the tools you want to put into your toolbar, that is then saved to your profile. So when I log out of this computer and I go downstairs and I log into another one with another smart board, those tools will be saved and locked into the same place I dragged them into. So you don't have to keep on coming in, keep on calibrating and keep on putting your pens into the toolbar.
And that's it really for calibrating and setting up the smart board for use. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please watch the next video which includes uh, an example on how to use those tools.